like you have the power to change and shape the world around you. That's quite a lot of hands. <laughs> and how many of you know what community service is? No, not the punishment you get from doing bad things. They don't do that around here. Um, community service is providing service for those around you and those in need, um, helping others. And service learning is taking the meaning out of community service and learning from it, technically learning from experience. And I'm gonna give you three, and only three reasons why service learning is important. My first point is that it allows you to make real world and emotional connections. Knowledge has a purpose, and that is to be applied. Knowledge without application is literally useless. But in most and many classrooms, knowledge is taught without application. Facts and books can seem completely different from the real world. And it only limits the depth of your understanding. This is an issue because the real world changes and is extremely and very complex. And it never ever stays the same. And I believe that service learning is better than learning through belief. And I'll tell you why. Humans, people, we all mainly implement data in our brains through memory. And our most important core memories are of memorable times in our life. Could be, uh, and mostly is from experience. In service learning, we all receive that relief and emotional reward we get after thinking that we've helped someone or something. And through that, we can understand how it's affected us and know the difference between real life and experience. One of these pictures, both of these pictures are of the same exact coral reef. Do you know which one is used in textbooks and magazines? Yep, that one over there, the one on the left. It's, we choose that one because we see what society wants us to see. And I believe that service learning can help you see the truth. Let me tell you a story about my first day in service learning. So I sat down in a classroom not knowing what service is action or service learning was. And they told me to study about my passion or what I found interesting in life. So I chose sea turtles. And then after a few weeks went by, I started my research on sea turtles their biology, and how human actions affect their existence in Indonesia. So a few years before that, I walked in a small hut organization, and I found that much proceeds and donation funds for, this, for one of the only organizations in Indonesia that cares about this issue. That's not much, is it? It's only maybe around 100 rupiah, and that's the total for about three months. I have then found out that only one in a thousand sea turtles survive until adulthood. And that's not much, especially here in Indonesia. And I started, I, then I went on a quest to this hut. I went back to donate my proceeds and donation funds that I raised from school. And until today, the total, the total profit the total amount that I got was over five million rupiah. And that all went to this organization. I then started physical research on sea turtles here in Indonesia. And I found, and I found out different things when I started to talk with the locals. They grew up with the sea turtles their whole entire life. And they found different things. They brought the issues to life, and I found out that there are different things 
from what I see in textbooks and magazines than what actually happens in real life. I was then able to understand it on a whole other new level that wouldn't be possible without this experience. So, um, and after I found out that service learning is a gateway to a new level of understanding, just as I found out. And it brings learning to life, engaging with real world issues in the way that adults do. Imagine how much learning would go on if students were engaged this way. Here's my second point. It gives you the ability to shape and change other people's attitudes and habits. Competition and ranking in school can shift students away from accepting a shared commitment of the common good. We learn through emotion, emotional connections, just as I did, and interactions and experiences are very important. That can help you understand the difference between reality and what's not. It helps give you the ability of making independent decisions which can lead you to the right action. I was then able to use my voice to speak the truth and share my experience with all of you. And it helped encourage other students to do the same as well. This brings us to my third point. It can bring power to your voice. When was the last time you felt empowered? When was the last time you felt like you could make a difference? The last time you felt like a leader, like you were in control? And when was the last time you felt like your opinion mattered? For most of us, being a student in a classroom is more about going with the flow than learning how to be impactful into the world. Um, and for good reasons, teachers have a lot to cover and a lot to teach. But this doesn't give us a lot of time to develop leadership abilities ourselves. And some of us, people have rights to speak, but not everyone is heard and not everyone is brave enough to do so. And voices can sometimes bring the truth. And Knowing this, we can learn how to become better people. We can grow as students and teachers. I believe that you can make real world connections, that you can shape the world, and that you can bring power to your voice. Thank you. <laughs>